just bought me a cup of coffee. Right. Right. Well, you didn't buy it? No. We're having a discussion about a cup of coffee. Yes. Gregory's coffee, which is fine coffee. Okay, never had, but go ahead. And we all would like a cup. Me, Paulie, and Fitzum. The problem is uh, Well he he will he wants one, we know that. Paul has the money and the wherewithal to get it. He refuses to do that. Why does he have to pay and or hook, do the hoofing? Because he, because no one else can do it. What, you can't get up and get a cup of coffee? I, I don't have brand new knees. <laughs> I don't have two brand new knees. I don't have the money for it. Then you shouldn't be drinking it, my friend, is what I would tell my son. Really? I shouldn't be drinking it? You shouldn't be drinking Gregory's coffee. You cannot afford said coffee. Well, I can't, which is why I don't. But I was hoping that Paul would get a cup for me and for Fitzsimmons, and then both of us would enjoy it, all three of us. It is my sus suspicion in this relationship, he's laying out a far greater amount <laughs> of fundage <laughs> and food to this relationship. <laughs> Well, that may be true. <laughs> I bet you we could go back and look at some of the things you've said and done, and they will be considered crazy. Okay, that's bad. Okay, we'll do that. Okay. Thank you. Why don't you go back to work now, Paul? No! If you no. tell me to go back to work, I'm not going to go back to work. Why not? Because you told me to. You, now, here's, <laughs> here's, here's one of Paul's craziness. No, it's not. It's just that you have this sort of high-handed style. High-handed? Yeah, high-handed, yeah, it's sort of like, oh, do this, oh, do that. Oh, Paul, oh, Paul's so crazy, oh. Paul just asked if I could do him a favor, and like an old-time country doctor who's available seven days a week, 24 hours a day, I'm here for Paulie. Hey, Paul, what, what would you like me to do? Well, you know, I, I got this delicious cup of flavors coffee this morning. You know what I mean? But there's not quite enough cream in it. So I wondered if while you're at the pantry, you could take a cup and put a little bit of half and half in the bottom of that cup, and then bring it back here. Of course. What a small thing to do for my buddy Paul. A little bit of half and half. I can do that. And I know when you go upstairs for that bacon and sausage, you'll do right by me. I got bacon. Look at this. It's magnificent. Paulie came through today. Mm. Hey, Paulie. Oh, he's busy now. I gotta get some eggs to go with it. Perfect. Mm. Paulie just came up with a brilliant idea. He said he wished work was like a survivor and that every week we could vote someone off. I think he might have been referring to the fact I was singing and it, 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 yes, it I wasn't so. Turn around, Paul, and let's, let's discuss this. You sing a song, instead of just singing a song, you accentuate the, the, uh, the consonants at the end of the words. Could you demonstrate that for us? Um, yes, strangers in the night. <laughs> <laughs> what? Strangers in the night. <laughs> this is great. Go ahead. Lovers, Lovers at, at first sight. sight. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a great day here. Look at this. Our own version of the NFL. We have Paul and we have Kervin. And take a look. The only problem with this is once Paul gets down, he may not be able to get up because he's a little old. Hi, Fitzum. Is there something? Hi, Fitzum. Hi, happy Friday. Yeah, how happy are you? Show I'm us. Very happy. Show us how happy you are. Come on, come on. Show us how happy you are. Yes, yes, yay, Fitty. <laughs> Paul and I are having a chew. He was nice enough to give me a slice of gum, and it's a great way to end the week. Uh, the week, right? You and I chewing. <laughs> you don't look happy, Paul. No, it's all right. What? I mean, like, the gum is almost out, and I certainly hope that we can continue this 
um, this uh, tradition next week and that others will contribute. Yeah, Paul neglects to tell you, uh, you that I have purchased two special gums for him. One when he was away, I think it was on vacation, and he came back, I had some gum for him. And you, you might even remember, um, he put the sign right up and said, who is this? And Peter. all I did was say, welcome back, Peter. Peter. Yes. Peter. So th that's two, two packets of gum. And how long? Is that 10 years? I think it's 10 years I've been working here. So this is two packets of gum in 10 years. I will leave it to you. And one of them was like this dessert gum. That Wait a like minute. It was a boutique gum, a specialty gum. What was it? Pistachio. It was pistachio gum. It yeah. may it may and, not have cl uh, and you know. And the fact that you can't find it anymore. It doesn't no, exist in because any because it's something special, not some. And you probably can get it at an exorbitant price. You can look on Amazon. Probably for fifteen twenty bucks, you can buy a pack. I mean, I don't know that, but you could look. Yes, you should. Well, Peter and Paul are leaving. Elvis is leaving the house, right? And his. What are you doing? I'm smiling. <laughs> Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Keep smiling. <laughs>